Wood movement is the primary reason why moisture content has become a critical issue for trim carpenters. Moisture meters are a new tool in our industry, but like nail guns or lasers, every crew needs to have at least one. Windsor One protected trim boards are shipped from the factory with a moisture content of about 10 to 14 percent. Use a moisture meter to monitor your material once it reaches the job site. As with all natural wood products, be sure to allow your trim material to acclimate to the job site prior to installation. That means allow the material to reach the exterior equilibrium moisture content for your regional area before installation. Exterior trim will absorb moisture in wetter climates and swell. Conversely, if the job site isn't conditioned and protected properly during construction, interior trim may absorb undue moisture prior to and during installation, then shrink after installation, resulting in unacceptable joinery. Windsor Mill recommends that you never install material for exterior use if the moisture content is above 18%. Personally, I'd err on the safer side of 15% for exterior trim and 12% for interior trim if you want to protect your joinery, your reputation, and the craftsmanship on your jobs. But remember, exterior equilibrium moisture content depends on your regional area and the interior equilibrium moisture content depends on heating, cooling, and dehumidifying habits too. Detailed charts are available from the U.S. Department of Agriculture Forest Service Forest Products Laboratory. Like all wood and wood products, Windsor One protected trim boards will expand and contract minimally with the grain. Regardless, be sure to build with wood movement in mind. For 16-foot runs, allow an eighth of an inch gap between boards, especially if the material is dry while you're installing it. Caulk those expansion gaps. And as I said earlier, be sure to check the moisture content of your material prior to installation.